Welcome to Mishnah study, Masera Pesachim Perechet Mishnah He. Over here in this Mishnah, we're going to discuss laws of a Zav and a Nida. Right? Zav and Zava, a Nida. Um, it's a little bit complicated. I'm going to do a quick introduction, and then we'll jump into it. Um, a Zav is someone, a, a male, who has uh, a discharge. And if he sees it for two days in a row, right, he's Tameh for seven days. And then he becomes Tahor. He dips in the, you know, that evening. And he could eat, uh, you know, kodashim that, you know, that that evening. If he sees it though for three days, right, he's tamer for the same seven days, right? So both of them, he's going to be tamer. Just on the eighth day, he needs to bring a korban, right? So the only difference between a zab who had a discharge for two days in a row versus a zab who had a discharge for three days in a row is the korban on the eighth day. Both of them are tamer for seven days straight. Um, that's when it comes to to a, to a zav. A zava, right? A zava is a woman who has also a uh, discharge. Over here, though, it's blood, right? It's a um, it's when when she bleeds, but it's not during her um, when she's supposed to be getting her menstrual period, right? That's called a nida. A zava is if she's bleeding not during those. Um, you know that, that those that, that those those period of days, and if she sees blood for one day, then she just has to wait one other day. If she sees blood for two days, okay, she just waits one more clean day afterwards. If she sees those for three days, then she becomes a zava. Right, the first two days she's considered shomer adyom keneg adyom, right? But if she's three days in a row, then she's considered a Zava, and again, she's tamer for seven days, and then she brings a, um, you know, on the eighth day, she becomes, uh, you know, she could go ahead and, you know, also eat on the eighth day, right? So that's how we learn it. They learn this from the Pesukim, and Abraham brings down these Pesukim. First, by the Zav, he mentions, um, you know, the Pasuk says, zav mi besaro zovo tamehu. So it counts the word Zav twice. And it says he's Tamer. And then it says, Zotye tum ato bezovo, rar besaro et zovo, or achtim besaro mi zovo, tum ato hi. So it says zovo three times. So what's the difference? Two times it Tamer, three times it Tamer. So it says three times, right? Mana katu shtaim vekaratame, shalosh vekaratame, ha ketzad, shtaim le tumah vishalosh le korban. Two times he's Tamer, third time she, he has to bring a korban. And similarly, if a woman is, you know, sees blood not during her, uh, you know, menstrual period, right? Also, what does the pasuk say? It says, "Vishak yazo yazo yazuv zov dama yamim rabim belo et nidata." Right? So, what does it say? Yamim is two days. Yamim rabim is three days. Three days belo et nidata. That's when she needs to, um, you know, she has to wait for seven days, and then she's tovelet, right? She dips in the evening, and right, or she actually tovelet probably for a zava, maybe even. Uh, the daytime, right? Basheni um, and then she and she eats at night. Now, if she sees on the second day, then she has to wait again. She has to dip on the she sees two days in a row, then she dips on the third day, and she can dip at night, and then she eat at night. And if she, she sees three days in the way, she has zavag mura, and as we uh, as we mentioned, so that's the law. Now, what if <laughs> any of these people they go ahead and they're you know either they're let's say the zav you know. He's going to dip in the seventh. He saw for two days. He's going to dip in the seventh day, and that evening, he could eat the korban pesach. Or let's say he was out that so three days. So the eighth day falls out on Yudalid, and that evening he could he bring the korban. He didn't bring his korban yet, but he plans on doing it, and he could go ahead and eat the korban pesach that evening. That's going to be our mishnah. So zav shashter yot zav who does two times again. He's tamer for seven days. Shochatim alav b'shvi. We're allowed to go and slaughter the korban pesach him on the seventh day because on the seventh day he's going to be tahor already. Even if he didn't dip yet, we could slaughter with him in mind because he's going to dip and then he'll be able to eat it. And in ashalosh, let's say he saw it three times in a row. Shochatim alav b'shvi. Then we slaughter him on the eighth day. Why on the eighth day? Because he needs to bring a korban on the eighth day. Once he brings the korban, he can go ahead and eat from it. So even though he didn't bring the korban yet, Rambam points out though he was he gave his korban to the beddin, right? So he's he already passed it over. So now he's definitely going to get done. Therefore, we let it go ahead and slaughter from him, and he could eat the korban pesach with us on the on the fourteenth day. Similarly, a woman who is watching one day towards the next, meaning she's so blood for one day, so she has to keep the sentence the next day. She'll dip. We can slaughter on that second day. If she saw two days in a row, 
Okay, then she needs to keep the third day clean. We could slaughter for her on that third day again, because she will be clean that evening. We saw her for three days in a row, as we mentioned. Because again, she's to, she's to be out for seven days, and on the eighth day, she'll be a Tehorah, and then she'll be able to participate in the Korban Pesach with us.